Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hacker H. Raven and the first episode for a new reality show. Slag Wars, the next destroyer. Season number one, episode number one is out and it's titled Slag on Arrival and it's free. You can go ahead and watch the episode on the official website, which is slagwars.com. I'll have it over here or I might have the link down in the comment section below. Now, for those of you who don't know, this show is hosted by, I think they, they are also the creators, I'm not really sure, Sophie and Rebecca. And if you are in the queer space online, on Twitter and other memes and stuff, you, yeah, I think you know who Sophie and Rebecca are and they are looking for the next destroyer. <laughs> I just have a feeling that this is going to be way over the top. It's going to be filled with comedy. And it's it and I think it's going to be also very sex positive, which yeah, let's see what happens. So we have Chase Icon giving us an intro. Yeah, what does that even mean? <laughs> what things do you need to be the next destroyer? <laughs> She's like, uh She's the first one. I'm not really sure what she's wearing. It's Nikki, she goes by she and her pronouns. But yeah, what is she wearing? <laughs> Next up we have Kevin, he's 25, he goes by he and him. Third one is uh, Tyrese, he goes by they and them pronouns. So we already have quite a lot of queer rep in the first episode. That's Gustavo, he goes by he and him. Mm -hmm. They're tall and skinny. That's Levi. Oh, so that's his boyfriend, Cameron. So these two are boyfriends, but apparently they'll be competing solo. How's that going to work? Competing as a couple, but also competing solo? So that's Cameron. He goes by he and him. Kane. Kane, that's the last one. Oh, Matthew Camp. So Matthew Camp is what? A co host? Business partner. Okay. So he'll be helping uh, Rebecca out. Rebecca and Sophie. <laughs> These two are just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Nikki's up first. Okay, Nikki, let's see what you can do. Oh, so she's ne- Okay, she's like, I've never been on a pole uh, in my life, but I'll give you a flip. Kevin hasn't done this before either. Let's see what- I mean, he's twerking. That's- that's something. Tyrese is up next. Tyrese, no- <gasps> Okay, Tyrese. Okay, Tyrese. Gustavo's up next, and he's doing something. Why is he eating food during the confessional? Okay... That's just... That's... Nothing. Go, girl! <laughs> give us nothing. I mean, why is he even here if he's going to give us low energy? Why are these two even here? <laughs> but he's giving us something. He's giving us something different, at least. Kane's giving us a reveal. Kane's like, you know what? I'm gonna take my pants off and I'm going to give you guys a show. Who's the winner, Sophie? Tyrese. Makes sense. Tyrese gave us a split and I was like, you know what? Tyrese won. Yeah, he doesn't do that. Oh, why are you here? Oh no. So Nikki's like, tell me why are you even here? Oh, Nikki's asking about his qualifications. Oh, come on, Nikki. I understand where Nikki's coming from, but this feels like, like an interrogation. So the passion projects are the main challenges. The foreplay are the mini challenges. So the contestants have to create a viral video. I'm just here for Sophie and Rebecca. They're having so much fun talking with each other, bouncing off each other's energy. It makes sense. It makes sense that they would have Chris Crocker as a guest judge. 
to see whether or not these viral videos are good. The first video is Lumberjack Off, which had three contestants. It was Nikki, Tyrese, and uh, Cameron. Nikki was clearly overshadowing uh, Tyrese and Cameron. The hot tub one was a mess. <laughs> Because Levi wasn't giving anything. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Kurt's trying. At least Kurt's trying. But his scene partner isn't giving him anything in return. Yeah, it's bad. It was bad. The unholy path to hell. Okay, so that was... Uh, oh, I forgot. Gustavo and... Who's the second one? I forgot his name. It's gonna take me a while to remember all the names. <laughs> These two knew what they were going to do during the filming. And I think they'll win. Yeah, he's like, go down there. I think they're, these two are going to win. Oh, come on, Sophie. Sophie's like, I can't send anyone home. It's a competition. We're not sending them to the guillotine, she's right. But you know what, I also feel for Sophie, where she's coming from. Yeah, someone has to go, it's a competition, Sophie. Ah, she's empathizing way too much with the contestants. Maybe that's who she is as a person. Yeah, Rebecca is like, they signed up for it, we have to do it. What? <laughs> oh, Sophie! Sophie's like, why, why, do, why not we don't send anyone home? Matthew's laughing too. I mean, it's a competition, it's a show, it's a reality show. Oh, Sophie. Oh, Sophie. I feel for her, I really do. Now we have a play party and tonight's theme is lavish latex. So everyone isn't going to be late. Ooh. Oh, Tyrese. Gustavo. Okay, Cameron. Oh, Kurt. Oh, wow. Kurt's giving us Jock and Nikki. Oh. Sophie and Rebecca are dressed up as Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. And they're basically a couple in the comics. Oh, Kurt's, talk te uh, Kurt's telling them about what Nikki said about being a destroyer. Yeah, it, it did feel as if she was putting him on the spot. Mm -hmm. Being a destroyer is more about how you feel in the, in the, in the inside. It's about your personality. Good answer. Good answer, Rebecca and Sophie. I mean, they would know. <laughs> yes, I got the week. <laughs> Kane and Gustavo, right? Gustavo, yeah, they won. Yeah, Sophie isn't feeling it. Sophie is like, uh-uh. She can't decide whom to eliminate. Giving it to Sophie? Why would you do that? Why would you... Why would you make Sophie do that? Yeah, she's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, why would you, why would you make Sophie go through that? Oh, Sophie. Oh, Sophie. What, they're going to end the episode here? Without an elimination? To be continued. That was the episode. I enjoyed it. It was fun for a reality competition show. I wasn't expecting the comedic elements. I wasn't expecting how how into it it was. It had heart. I liked Sophie and uh, Rebecca as co-hosts. They enjoy working together you, and you could see a whole lot of that in the episode. I also liked their explanation about what it means to be a destroyer. And yeah, seeing what Sophie is going through Personally, I mean, it is a competition. Viewers do expect certain contestants to be eliminated each week. But you know what? Let's see what happens next. 
the next i think the second episode will be released this friday and again it will be free for you to view and yeah if you're into watching a reality tv show that is very very queer inclusive that is very very sex positive and that's a whole lot of fun to watch then go ahead and watch it i'm not really sure if i'll keep up with my reaction and reviews of this each week i have a whole lot of stuff to cover i'm thinking about it and i'm like oh but yeah let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below and until next time stay happy stay safe stay blessed see you guys later